So hello, everybody. It's about Tyler here at Red Barn Productions, and we are back. And you're gonna have to. You may be hearing some background noise and stuff, but that's because I'm not running any uh, uh, background uh, noise removing filters or anything like that. It's just uh, microphone, mic pre, and the mixer. That's it. And one of my viewers had asked yesterday. Uh, it, was on, it was on one of my old videos, the Art Tube MP. And uh, I don't remember exactly what year that particular video was because I've got a couple of them up. But I bought this Art Tube MP 12 years ago, used by the way. And uh, I still have it. And he wanted to know if I had ever used it and a Sennheiser MKE 600. And I had to kind of laugh because actually I have. I've actually got one. And uh, this is the MKE 600 that I'm using right now. Talk on this microphone right here. Uh, this microphone is not on. If you look on the mixer, the MKE 600 and the Art Tube MP are on channel two, and the RE20 and ISA1 are on channel one. And uh, I'm going to switch over to this microphone now and you'll maybe hear a difference because I'm not I've got headphones on but I'm not actually monitoring the microphones uh, so I don't know that I have them evenly matched uh, as far as the mic pre's go as far as the mixer goes as you can see there they're, everything's set the same here so hopefully it's pretty close and you will be able to hear a difference uh, one of the others gonna probably be a little louder uh, the uh, shotgun microphone is definitely going to be a little brighter, whereas the Electro Voice RE20 is going to have a little bit more bottom end. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you put them both together, like this right here, it sounds pretty good. But we're going to go back to the shotgun microphone now. And this is the shotgun microphone and the, the tube MP. And to show you that it is the tube, I'm going to turn the input all the way down. By now. And I'm gonna bring it back up, and uh, I started this channel out uh, 12 years ago uh, doing budget reviews on, on uh, doing stuff on a budget, you know, and we actually have the more expensive big brother to the MK600. It's the MK416, and uh, it's like a thousand dollars. If you the focus right I say one it was right what either six fifty seven hundred fifty dollars right now whereas when I bought this it was thirty five dollars and you can pick up the uh, Sennheiser MKE six hundred for three twenty nine huge difference and they're really really close right out of the box <clears throat> with a little bit of tweaking and adjustment you could you could pretty well get them to sound identical uh, this microphone right here is uh, five hundred ninety nine dollars it's got more low end. But I could, I could use an EQ and kind of compensate for that a little bit over on the shotgun mic. Uh, whereas uh, the shotgun mic is just a little bit brighter. And I could I could put a, a little bit of high boost or whatever. But this, this the EQ is all the same. It's flat right now. So you'll, you can hear a little difference. But they're not that far off. And uh, I apologize if you're hearing any background noise or funny noises. Because like I said, I'm not running the noise removal software right now. Because I wanted you to hear... Uh, everything that the, there is to hear and unfortunately it's winter and it's cold and there's heaters going I've got a, a computer tower sitting two feet to my left so I know that's getting in there a little bit uh, but hopefully that answers your question and gives you an idea of what this sounds like uh, it's it's not EQ'd or there's not any filters on or anything like that right now it's just raw it's just I mean just as raw as can be uh, imagine what it would be like if you wanted to get in there and add some uh, background noise removal and a little eq uh till next time this is vitaly over here to red barn productions y'all stay safe and i'm out of here